To create this design, you need to add a cylinder. Go to the front view. Move the cylinder along the z-axis. And then S and Shift Z and scale it along the X and Y axis. Go to the edit mode. Select this top face and S and scale it in this way. Select this bottom face and scale it in this way. Then add a center loop cut. Then select this top face. Then move it along the z-axis. And then E to extrude it. And scale it down like this. Move this edge along the z-axis little bit in this way. Then Ctrl A apply the scale. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add a bevel on it. In this way add a 4 segment bevel. Then select this edge loop and Ctrl X to dissolve it. Then select these faces. And then extrude them along the normal in this way. Give the proper offset. Then S and Y and scale them along the Y axis and give the value 0. Move them along the Y axis in this way. Then select this edge and snap 3D cursor to there. Add one loop cut here. And then select these faces. And then S, X and give the value 0. Then take the symmetry. Then select these faces. Snap 3D cursor to here. Then select these faces and then S, Z and give the value 0. Change the transform point point to bounding box. Select this edge and move it along the Y axis in this way. Select these edges and dissolve them. Then select these edges and dissolve them. Then Ctrl A apply the scale. Then select this edge and Ctrl B add a bevel on it. Then select this face loop. Select this face loop. And select these faces and press P to make a separate object. Delete this part. Then select this face and use the insert operation. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this. And create cut here. And then dissolve this edge. Select this word and use the edge slide. Then here also you need to create a cut. Use the knife tool and create cut. And then dissolve this edge. Select this word and use the edge slide. Then use the knife tool and create cuts like this. In this way. Then create cuts along the y axis. And add few loop cuts. Like this. Then add one loop cut here. Then add one loop cut here. And then select these words and press J to connect them. Then dissolve these edges and add one loop cut here and select this words and press J to connect them. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry, dissolve this edge, then hit the control 2 and add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Then select this edge and use the set flow on it in this way and take the symmetry. Select this edge and use the set flow on it. Then select everything, shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 45 degree angle and complete that circular design. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then select this edge loop and loop tool, circle option. Select this edge loop and use the loop tool circle option. And then add few loop cuts. Select this bottom edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Use the insert operation. Select this edge loop and press Ctrl B and add bevel on it. Select this top edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Use the insert operation. Use the insert operation one more time. Then select these words and press J to connect them. Then dissolve these edges. And then select these words and press J to connect them. Then dissolve this edge. Select everything, mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry. Select this edge loop and use the edge slide like this. And then take the symmetry, mesh, symmetry. And here are some double words. Dissolve them. Select this face loops and delete them. Select these faces. Press P to make a separate object. Delete these faces. Go to the edit mode, select everything, shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 45 degree angle. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. Select this edge loop 
and press F to fill the gap. Use the insert operation. Use the loop tool circle option and use the insert operation and delete this face. Then select the each loop and face and grid fill. Adjust the offset. You can select this each loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Decrease the selection, press Alt S to scale them along the normal and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Add one segment bevel and use the insert operation. Select this each loop and Ctrl B add bevel on them. So in this way you can create this kind of design. You can see the form, you can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.